Sibai, the Siberian Research Institute of Aviation, named after Chaplagin, developed the second prototype of the Partizan, ultra-short takeoff and landing aircraft. According to the press service of Sibnaya, the developers intend to undertake flight tests on the unmanned version of the aircraft. This aircraft was first introduced at the MAX 2021 exhibition. At that time, it was stated that it would require only 50 meters to take off. In addition to its official designation, this aircraft is identified by the index TVS-2MS and, as evidenced by the accompanying images, is a significantly upgraded AN-2. It is important to mention that the famed Kukuruznik, nicknamed for AN-2, had a takeoff distance of only 200 meters. The project's creators sought to decrease this figure and implement additional enhancements. The venerable veteran has been eclipsed by the current TVS-2MS aircraft, which necessitates only 100 meters for launch. However, Russian engineers have observed that this is not the limit. They created a demonstrator that is capable of launching from a runway that is 50 meters in length. As per the creators, the Partizan project has been underway since 2019, conducted by the Siberian Research Institute of Aviation, named after S.A. Chaplagin and the Advanced Research Foundation. The technical design of the demonstrator has already been determined. Its maximum takeoff weight will be 3,380 kilograms. It will be capable of transporting up to one ton of cargo over a distance of up to 1,000 kilometers and performing takeoff and landing on unprepared sites measuring 50 by 50 meters. The active wing blowing system was employed to accomplish these distinctive parameters. What is it that is involved in the process? The foldable blades are powered by electric motors which force air over the lower wing. The aircraft is equipped with a total of nine engines, with four engines per wing and one central engine. In order to expedite the takeoff process, the mechanization of the lower wing is subjected to active blowing and additional propulsion is supplied. This is essential for the preservation of high lift characteristics at moderate speeds. The Partizan is perfect for rescue operations due to its ability to descend in difficult to reach locations. Furthermore, its speed will not exceed 60 km per hour. The majority of aircraft are also incapable of maintaining a sustained flight at this speed. The power plant of the new development is another distinctive feature, as it is powered by autonomous batteries. Grigory Makich, the director of physical and technical research at ARF, has indicated that the subsequent phase will entail the building of a demonstrator model, which will be followed by wind tunnel tests. The flight experiments were initially scheduled for late 2022. However, they were ultimately executed in February 2024. Lastly, it is important to mention that an unmanned version is presently being developed in addition to the piloted version, albeit in a purely civilian transport configuration. The unmanned version has already been flown. Now, which other aircraft can take off on a 50-meter runway? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share the videos and subscribe to the channel. Please also take our memberships to encourage us.